Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool text animation using the echo effect. Okay, so my composition is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, 5 seconds in duration, I have this dark blue background. So first, I added a text layer. I'm going to select the text layer, I'm going to tap P to bring out the position property, I'm going to drag the playhead out to let's say the two second mark. This is where I want the animation to end. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to position to add a keyframe. I'm going to drag the playhead back to the beginning. I'm going to click on the layer. I'm going to press the shift key to make sure I drag up in a straight line. And then I'm just going to drag up that layer and I'll let go. That's going to automatically create a keyframe. And to preview the animation, I'm just going to tap on the spacebar. It's a little slow, so I'm going to select the last keyframe. I'm going to drag it in to speed up the animation. Then I'm going to select both keyframes, tap on F9 to apply Easy Ease. And for the finishing touch, I'm going to click on the motion blur icon and then check the box to add a little motion blur to the animation. And now it's time to add the echo effect. Select the text layer, go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, go to Window and check Effects and Presets. Click in the search field and just start typing out echo, E-C-H-O. Just click and drag it right onto the text layer. For echo time, I'm just going to click in the number and type in minus 0.035. For number of echoes, I'm going to change that to 3. I'll keep starting intensity at 1 and I'm going to change decay to 0.35. And if I drag the playhead just to preview the animation, now you can get a better idea of what the echo effect is doing. It's basically creating copies of the main text and creating this motion trail effect. Next, we're going to duplicate this solid text layer. To do so, select the layer. You can go up to the edit menu, go to edit, duplicate, or use the keyboard shortcut Command D on a Mac, Control D on a PC. I'll tap enter or return and rename this layer Mike Stroke. I'm going to hide the solid layer so you can see what's going on. And then I'm going to come up to the character panel. So I'm going to click on this little swatch with a red line through it. That's going to remove the fill. And now we have ourselves just a white stroke. And now we just need to modify the echo effect for the stroke layer. For echo time, I'm going to change that to negative 0.055. For number of echoes, I'm going to change that to 6. For starting intensity, 0.50. And for decay, 1.00. I'll make sure the solid layer is visible. I'll bring the playhead back to the beginning, tap the space bar, and now we have a cool echo effect. And that is the echo effect. A very happy new year to you. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.